draw stereo representations for all stereo isomers of this compound. Label those that are meso compounds and those that are pairs of enantiomers. So here we see this molecule and the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out which carbons are chiral. A chiral carbon is a carbon that's attached to four different groups and we are going to look through the molecule and see which of these we have here. So if you look at this carbon, it has three bonds and every carbon wants to have four bonds. That means a hydrogen is not shown here. So first I'm going to show a hydrogen here and then I'm going to see if this is a chiral carbon. This carbon is connected to a hydrogen, C double bond OH, then, it ha then we go carbon, carbon, no difference, but this carbon is connected to two methyl groups and this one is not. So going to up and to the bottom is different and therefore this carbon is a chiral carbon. This carbon we will see it's the same, it looks exactly the same, connected to the same group, so this carbon will be chiral as well. The rest of the carbons will not be chiral. For example, this carbon has two methyl groups, so it cannot be chiral because it has two identical groups. In order to be chiral, we have to have four different groups. So this one is not it because it has two methyl groups, and these two carbons are not it either because they have two hydrogens that are not shown, so they cannot have four different groups. Now that we have shown that we have two chiral centers, we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw wedges and dashes whichever way we would like. So for example, I'm going to make this group a wedge, which means this hydrogen will be a dash, and I'm going to make this group a dash, which means this hydrogen would be a wedge. So this is my first stereo isomer. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw its mirror image. So I'm going to draw a mirror here and I'm going to draw literally a mirror image of my molecule. What would it look like? It would look like this, double bond o OH coming here. It's like you're looking in the mirror, what would you see? Like this and like this. So first I began with figuring out the chiral carbons in my molecule, then I labeled them as wedges or dashes, whichever way you would like, and then I drew a mirror image. The two mirror images are called enantiomers. Enantiomers are non-superimposable mirror images, and we're going to see what we have to do next. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another version of this molecule. Here I did wedge and a dash. So what, what else could I draw? What other stereochemistry could I show? Let's say that I'm going to keep my wedge here. And I'm going to make this a wedge as well. Now, if we look at this molecule, what we may notice is that there is a line of symmetry. A molecule that has chiral centers but has a line of symmetry is called a meso compound. So if we look at this molecule, even though it has chiral centers, it has a line of symmetry. In this case, the line of symmetry is through the molecule like this, it cuts the molecule in half where two halves are exactly identical. So my left half and my right half are exactly identical. Because my molecule, even though it has chiral centers, has a line of symmetry, where this molecule is considered a meso compound. A meso molecule is achiral which means it does not have an enantiomer, it does not have a mirror image. If we draw its mirror image, it will not be a different molecule. A molecule will be able to superimpose on itself. So the mirror image of mesomolecule is itself, it's not a different molecule. And therefore, 
we are not going to draw its mirror image. So these are all of my options for stereo isomers for this compound. Now, let me just say that because I have two chiral carbons to begin with, the formula is two to the n to figure out the maximum number of stereoisomers where n is the number of chiral centers. I had two chiral centers, so two to the two is equal to four. So the maximum number of stereoisomers that I could have for this molecule would be four. In this case, this molecule has three stereoisomers because one of the stereoisomers is a meso molecule and a meso molecule is achiral, which means its mirror image, it will be superimposable so we cannot draw its mirror image. So these are my three stereoisomers for this molecule. This is Maya Alochi from Transformation Tutoring and I really enjoyed that you I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, leave them below.